Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about types of matrices using Python programming. The types of matrices, first one row matrices, it's a single row, it's a very easier one, self-explanatory. Then column matrix means which contains one column. Rectangular matrix means the number of rows and columns are not same and square matrix means the number of rows equal to number of column it's a very basics so didn't implement code for it now how to create a null matrix or zero matrix since we are going to use numpy first we have to import numpy as np now instead of typing numpy everywhere we can type np once we import numpy saving it to a variable a np dot zeros so since it's a three row three column we have to give this shape as a tuple tuple means like bracket three rows three column then print a see like above matrix we can able to create using zeros method next one is identity matrix identity matrix is nothing but the elements of the diagonal matrix are one variable a equal to np dot identity inside this we have to pass the order 3 cross 3 then order is 3 print a just run it when we execute we will get identity matrix like this then scalar matrix scalar matrix means it is an identity matrix but all the diagonal elements are same other than one same way we have to assign to a variable np dot zeros and it should be of 3 cross 3 comma int since I want as an integer now what I am going to do I want to fill that diagonal value with 2 for that np dot fill underscore diagonal inside that I am passing this matrix comma the value in this matrix the diagonal value will be filled with 2 run it we got the expected output like above diagram then diagonal matrix diagonal matrix means same like scalar matrix all the values are different same way can you guess like above program it will be like first we will create with zero then pass these particular variable then fill here with the value just and just copy pasting the above code doing a small modification instead of 2 I want 3 different values like 1, 10, 7 as mentioned here and running it we got expected matrix this is how we will create the diagonal matrix let us put it in a reverse condition we have a matrix in that matrix I want to extract the diagonal values how to do that very simple np dot diag pass that matrix run it it is 1 10 7 so to create we have to do like this if you want to retrieve the value you can follow this then comes a triangular matrix upper triangular matrix means below the principal diagonals are 0 here we are going to follow some other way to create the matrix that is array a equal to np dot a range function and it will start from 1 till 9 dot using a reshape those 9 values that is 1 to 9 as 3 cross 3 this reshape is one of the most important concept we use it in the deep learning especially when we work with images we want to change that shape at that time this will be useful i will be posting a separate video for reshape itself just watch it 
and make sure you are clear on this concept then I'm just printing a so we have created a matrix like this now in p dot if you want to use the suggestions or available methods just dot press tab you will get auto suggestion tri we are going to use the triangular for upper pass the matrix run it we have created the upper triangular matrix c123 4 5 like this this is how we will create the upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix means above the principal diagonals are zero same code to create a three cross three matrix here can you guess what will be the keyword triangle it is for lower so it is l pass the matrix execute so we are able to create the lower triangular matrix so then comes transpose of a matrix which is once again like very very important one changing the rows to columns especially in order to fit the dimension we use the transpose of a matrix so this concept is very important make sure you are clear about this let's create a matrix a np dot array same matrix this is the matrix we have created just printing it and also the shape so this is an original array with two rows three column right just using the shape to show the difference now I am creating another variable b in that what I am going to do a power transpose right so a dot transpose that's it so what I am doing is transposed array and shape b dot shape run it 2 row 3 column has been changed to 3 row 2 column see both the image and this values are same this is how you will apply the transpose concept let's do a short recap zero matrix we will use zeros method with dimension mentioned using tuple then in order to create the scalar matrix we use fill diagonal if it is a single value we will pass a single value if it is a multiple value we will pass as a list so here see the difference if it is a dimension it's a tuple if it's a value it's a list remember this if not you will get the error then in order to retrieve the diagonal value we use diac method then for upper triangular matrix we use triu method for lower triangular matrix trl method then the transpose matrix once you create a matrix you have to take transpose don't forget to save it to another variable that's the end of this video in case of any clarification please post your queries in the comment and don't forget to subscribe and tap on bell symbol thanks for watching happy learning